Cindered shadows, what lies beneath. Listen up. I've got something to report. It's about you outsiders. Actually, yes, I shouldn't bother reporting you to yourself. The Ashen Wolves may seem tough, but they're harmless. Honestly, things can get pretty boring down here. But here's a little piece of wisdom from me to you. Boredom's a luxury. Trust me, I know these things. Oh, hello, Professor. Have you seen this library of theirs? It's completely different from the one in the monastery. And their collection's amazing. There are forgeries and banned books, legends, spells, and heresies. Dot, I'll catch a single wink tonight. What's all the commotion about? Hey, hang on. I've never seen you before. You a first timer? Word of advice watch your back. The only folks who hang around down here are the ones too shady to walk in the goddess's light. Hey, a professor. Allow me to introduce you to my brother's best friend. You can call him Balti. Actually, it's Balthus. You've probably heard of me. In the Alliance, I'm known as, uh, how should I put it? <laughs> Something like that. To be precise, I'm known as the undisputed king of grappling. I may not look it, but I was once a noble from a minor house. Life's full of twists and turns. I know you, Balti. I'm pretty sure you got yourself into this mess. Who knew an entire town was hiding beneath the monastery? In a secret fourth house to boot? So I'm just itching to know them all. I'm sure Rhea knows all about this place. But how many secrets does that lady have? What do you think, Professor? This is a most unique town, is it not? Incredible, really. That those who face depression on the surface are able to find sanctuary here. No, not to say that there's no helping the situation in Fodland. To do just that is our duty and our honor. Even so, I find the idea rather lovely. I told Yuri I wanted to be just like him when I grew up. He said I shouldn't ever say stuff like that. So I told Balthus I didn't want to be like him when I grew up. And he said I'd grow up boring. What did he want me to say? You're quite a fetching lady. But even your looks don't compete with the likes of Yuri. Don't let that pretty face of his fool you. He's a rogue, through and through. Even so, the people of the West trust him. He may be a scoundrel, but he's our scoundrel. This is where I offer my prayers to the gods. It is the only place. The goddess of Bodhi is not one of my gods. But the statue here is not one of my gods either. I offer my prayers here all the same, because Abyss is where it is allowed. We're chasing after a suspicious individual. Hey, new person. Want my advice? Don't wander too far off the beaten path. This seems like your place. You go snooping around, there's bound to be trouble. Wait, did I introduce myself? My name's Hattie. Mysterious. Even that hero's relic. 
Yeah, I've heard all about you. But I never figured I'd see you down here, chasing after someone and getting lost in the process. That's right. And so we're clear. The Asher Wolf House isn't affiliated with the Officers Academy. Since we're not part of the Academy, it's really just a place for us. Can't go to the surface either. We've all got our reasons. We're a unique bunch from all walks of life. Once you get to know us, I'm sure you'll love it. We're all done here, boss. Oh, but more importantly, about your... We'll discuss that another time. For now, tend to your mission. Don't worry. No one will die. We'll get everyone out safely. Hmm. Once the trap is set, shift your focus to protecting the Abyssians. Just in case things go south. Mo, oh, it's you. I was just heading off to ambush our attackers. You'll help with that, won't you? Oh, does that mean your enemies are drawing near? Very good. <laughs> the scouts I sent to the surface spotted some mercenaries. We closed off the entrance they used last, but it seems they've already found another. This is bad. We've got to evacuate everyone from Abyss as quickly as possible. That won't be necessary. They'll be back soon. Huh? Who? Why do I have to go? No matter what we do, we're all just gonna die in the end anyway. Sure, but if we do nothing, we'll die a lot sooner. I assume the corridor is successfully camouflaged? But of course! Our decoys shall prevent those scoundrels from chancing upon our living quarters. Do note that I am the bait upon your hook. If we fail, I shall be left dangling in the wind. <laughs> but it must be done, I fear. And so... I will most happily accept the starring role in this! They're at the entrance. They'll be coming in from the east. The east? <laughs> Good. We're well placed. Go ahead and draw them deeper into Abyss, just like we planned. I'd like to know that myself, but first things first got to make it through this encounter. Launching small counterattacks on the surface won't accomplish anything. It could also earn us the scorn of the church, if it gets messy. Which it will. That's why we have to lure the enemy underground before we take them out. I know the perfect spot. Admit it, pals. You're knee-deep in this, just like us. There's no turning back now, right? Of course not. If there's any way we can help your cause, we won't turn our backs on you. That's right. We will not stand idly by while danger befalls the innocent people of Abyss. If we can capture the enemy, we can perhaps learn the reason behind their relentless attacks. Excited, are you? Fine. We could use more bodies to throw at our enemies. Thanks for volunteering. So long as they're fighting with us and not against us, I don't care how excited they are. Let's get to it! Underground arena, huh? You sure know some great spots, Yuri. I heard about this place from someone back in town. It hasn't been in use for a long time. I figured it could prove useful. So I spent some time clearing out the debris that was blocking the entrance. It seems to be a revitalized ruin. Perhaps it was originally a reception hall or something similar. Perhaps. Honestly, all of Abyss feels like a ruin. <laughs> this place is magnificent! It is just spacious enough to contain my glory! I shall not hold back here! Large? Isolated? I wonder if it would be okay for me to sigh here. If happy sighs, monsters come running. No, I'm not kidding. I'm not sure what you could possibly mean by that. I wish, Happy, but no. Absolutely no sighing. And Constance, be glorious in moderation. Understood? This place is so big that if it collapses, all of Abyss will fall with it. The whole reason we're luring our enemies here is to avoid damaging Abyss. Don't lose sight of that. <laughs> I 
am well aware of our aim. Sure, but that doesn't mean we can trust you to show restraint. You as well? I cannot fathom why I am being treated in such a way. It is the duty of the nobility to preserve the people's safety. Do you truly believe that I would destroy Abyss in my efforts to save it? Preposterous. That would cause trouble for Elfie too. If the underground collapses, he's the one who will have to answer for it. You must know Elfric, yeah? He's a bigwig in the church, but a friend of Abyss. He's the one who opened up this place to folks with nowhere else to turn. Looks like us. He gave us a home, a new life. It is Elfric himself who put forth the idea of establishing the Ashen Wolf House. Sadly, he faces opposition within the church, and so he cannot openly deploy the knights to aid us. That means Elfric relies upon us to protect the people who live here. Us, and now you. I hope you're ready, Professor. We're counting on you. You are a professor at the Officer's Academy, are you not? You may not be our instructor, but I cannot think of a more fitting title to call you. Seems like you're with us now. We'll owe you one. Time to knock some sense into their thick skulls. They picked the wrong strangers to mess with.
shabby. I'll never be satisfied. How deep did this place go? I wonder if it's around here somewhere. We have here your buddy's carcasses. Maybe you should turn around and go home. Each battle, a chance to grow.
draw. Now. Boss, that's the last of them. Good. Finally. Thanks for all the help, everyone. I ain't going down without a fight. I'm taking you with me, punk. I will not allow it. Elfric, you're here. Well, shall we capture this fool? serendipitous that you have come to our aid. I am relieved that I wasn't too late. I do hope my presence proved useful. No doubt about it. We needed the backup. Professor, I do believe this is the first time our paths have crossed, is it not? Of course, I have heard all about you from Her Grace, the Archbishop. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Elfric. The Church has granted me custodianship of Abyss. The pleasure is all mine. I am sure you have already been told about Abyss's unique situation. For varying reasons, all of the inhabitants here are unable to live a peaceful life on the surface. People like the Dagdens and Almirans, who suffer undue persecution across Fodlin. The poor and the sick, who are forced into Abyss. Not to mention all the other unfortunate souls who ended up here. I believe it is my sacred duty to provide a place for those who have nowhere else to go. Right. And the poor and sick living in a sunless crypt helps them... how? Enough, Claude. Please, forgive my friend, Elfric. We would love to hear more. In all honesty, I understand his concern. I dearly wish I could provide a better life for my flock. But it would appear that Her Grace and most of the Church consider the existence of Abyss to be... something of a nuisance. No? I've heard tell of those within the Church who intend to purge Abyss. That's the Church for you. They make a big deal out of helping the helpless, when it suits them. We can't just sit back and accept the way things are. We've got to fight the system. Sure, I'm here to hide from literally countless bounty hunters. But I'm not the only one in need. You're in a bad way too, Happy. You can't just let the church walk all over us. Too true. For the sake of all who dwell in Abyss, we must help dear Elfric to turn the tide. I am overwhelmed with gratitude. Your fervent support is all the reward I could ask for. As for you, Professor, I must beg a favor of you. The Ashen Wolves are a house in name alone. They are eager students with no teacher to guide them. If you could find it in your heart to take them under your wing, I would be most grateful. Naturally, your official duties take precedence, so you need only help out when your schedule allows. Wait a minute, Elfric. Where's this nonsense coming from? I second that question. We have no need of a professor when we have you. Dear Flock, I am a mere guardian. I can protect you, but I cannot enrich your minds. Though I call this gathering an academy house, I have long lamented that it isn't truly so. Now, I am blessed with the opportunity to correct this. The professor who stands before you has garnered a great deal of acclaim on the surface. A most trustworthy and esteemed teacher, to say the least. 
What's more, I happen to be acquainted with the father of this fine individual. I was born and raised in Garrick Mach, so I often have the opportunity to spend time with him. Uh, your mother as well. She was a cherished friend of mine. I was even present for their wedding. With parents like yours, I have no doubt that you possess the kindness and patience necessary to guide these students. But... It'll be fine. It's not like we're strangers anymore. Say, Alfred, don't you need to take care of those thieves? Ah, right you are. Please, excuse me. Oh, and one more thing, Professor. If ever you would like to hear more about your parents, I would be delighted to share my memories with you. <laughs>